Greetings and welcome to a brand new play. Now today with a game called the Deck Casters, made by a studio called Rock Nano Games. With a name like Deck Casters, you're probably thinking to yourself, "Oh, this is a game where I where I cast movies using decks, isn't it?" Well, no, that would actually sound like a better game than this one. It's um, eh, imagine Magicka Wizard Wars. But uh, instead of having a wizard, you have a deck of cards that you can uh, uh, summon and then battle on the arenas, which look like a, a bit like they're inspired by uh, Heroes of the Storm because you have certain objectives on them. For example, this is an artifact that will spawn, and if you get to it, you will damage the enemy's life and kill them. And this is a switch. If you stand on a switch and capture it, your, your gate will open. You will have a shortcut to the artifact and to this spawn point, the spawn point, the, um, the point point. <laughs> it's a capture point, it's an objective point. You capture this, you drain the enemy's life. You kill their units, you drain the enemy's life. You capture this, you drain the enemy's life. The enemy doesn't have life, the enemy loses. Oh, oh by the way, it also has a story. This is it. That's all of it. It's super in depth. It's right now on Steam for the price of eight and a half euros, and uh, it's on sale. Like uh, normal price is uh, seventeen euros. It's how uh... oh, should I put this? I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying that I'm not really all that convinced that it's a good one and it's that it's well that that it's well balanced. Uh, it's um. It's a game where you can summon cards, you can put cards in your deck, you have three decks, some of them are pre-built, this unit's absolutely rubbish and pointless, it does reduce the mana cost of a spell to zero, but uh, mana sort of generates fast enough so that it's not really much of a problem, Let's see, maybe if you have like all, like more more spells and you have uh, units, then yeah, this, this guy would be useful, otherwise no, I can, I can pretty much just... Uh, I'll get to explain to you a bit the, uh, the structure. This is your champion. Your champion can be pretty much any other card. It doesn't have to be the Kitsuna Archer. But um, this card will always be in your hand. It will have a respawn time to it, so you won't be able to summon it indefinitely, like infinitely, uh, whenever you want, but you will always have it in hand. The rest of them you will have to draw like with time. Every couple of seconds, you draw a new card, and it can be any one of these, and you will summon them depending on their ma the mana the mana um, amount that you have and their cost. And they have attack, they have life, they have movement speed, and certain special abilities. And it, yeah, yeah. this thing's a lagrima. That's that's a weird way to spell lagrima, but okay. So let's get into it. I was gonna show you initially some uh, PvP, but uh, this is no wait, that's not it. But um, these are all the players right, right now in the game. It's me. It's just me. The game was released in February or January. And basically nobody's playing it. It's got four reviews on Steam. Like, basically nobody wants to play it. So let's, uh, yeah, let's pick this one with a normal AI. And maybe then I'm going to try to uh, show you the, um, the hard AI. To see maybe if there's a difference between them. And I keep confusing this thing with Ahri from, uh, from League of Legends. Temple Ruins. But the game also has tutorials that doesn't explain things like uh, what crystals do, what um, other things, objectives do. It just tells you how to play the absolute basic thing that you basically understand from the first five seconds you walk into the game. Let's begin. The game also seems to think that its um, loading time is a bit longer than it actually is. But okay. The five elements have different play styles and the battle something, something, something. And let's hope this time it works. Okay, this time it actually worked, because the last time I played on this map and I summoned my champion as my first action, it didn't work. Like, it, it ate up all the mana that I used for it, like the, the four mana I uh, needed to cast to call the hero, and then did nothing. Like, nothing. It, it just wasted the mana and did not give me a unit. It, the game has problems, like, apart from not, being, not having more than two maps and honestly seem a bit cheap. Uh, the camera controls tend to be sometimes a bit, for example, now now I can move the camera left and right because I'm sort of out of bounds, out of the map bounds. I can I could only move left and right if I actually move the mouse first, which is kind of annoying. And the enemy has taken that bit, but that's okay, I'm gonna do some things. Let's see, I'm gonna capture this thing, or both those things, and then have enough mana to, cap to summon something bigger. 
something better, something devious. There's uh, zones where you can hide, which are honestly not all that well defined, to be honest. It's, uh, what I'm saying, it's maybe not one of the best games ever made. Oh, they took a monolith. Let's see if I can uh, surprise them. Let's call this guy the Cyclops. Come on, kick them in the face. Oh no, they also have the, the those guys things there. Have you captured that thing yet? Yes, I have. I have two two of these. Let's capture the third one as well. Let's get the big guy rolling in. Let's get the big guy on their point. So I want to get Sune again. You too. Come on, move it, move it, move it. Actually, I'm going to get you to capture that thing so we can have better access to the um, door gate. This is where the artifact will spawn eventually. And the defenders, let's attack them. And when I get another bit of mana, I'm going to be able to use the heal spell to heal my guys. Actually, doesn't look like they need it. Like they're, they're doing well by themselves so far. Monolith lost. Which one? Oh, the one on top. I'm gonna I'm gonna make them lose this one first, and then I'm gonna go for the others. Oh, it's still going. Man, that guy's insistent. Oh, the genie cast meteor on uh, I think on my uh, my big guy. No, on this guy. I'm gonna heal them. So the meteor won't do actually that much. I'm gonna summon some of these guys, uh, Nagas. You can also you can control them with the with the Q W E R T. You can select your characters. What's annoying is that the, the game, even though it says it runs in full screen, it actually doesn't. So um, changing uh, from the keys, the arrow keys to W S D to that re not you you to uh, select the character is kind of annoying. Come on, attack them. Did I heal them in time? No, I did not heal them in time. Okay, then move up here. Move up here. Move up there. Let's summon more stuff. Let's summon the Mountain Ogre. Why not? Let's take the Mountain Ogre and take that thing. Take the point. Are you capping? Yes, you are capping right there. Let's let's go to the Mountain Ogre. Let's see what the Mountain, mountain Ogre end. And let's, let's make another archer. Let's move them to that point. And then hope that we'll capture it and uh, kill the things. Come on, kill the things. The mountain cyclops is under attack. And it probably got bombarded a bit. Let's heal it. And it's kicking things in the face. And more enemies are coming. But as you've seen, they uh, don't really have... All the Why don't you move into the point? Move to the point. And you, you attack them. I don't know what these are. Like These things, I have no idea what these are. They just show up there and think they're important. Or maybe they're not, I don't know. The game didn't actually explain that in, in the tutorial. I'm just gonna get a more mana. Kill those things. See, at least the enemy is doing a good job of guiding me for... Monolith lost? Where, 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 which one? How? Oh, 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 because they're standing... I'm... They're being attacked, like it's... It's a, it's not a really well-defined area. Let's increase uh, the enemy, the, our allies' units' uh, power. Oh, that fireball is going to be painful, so I'm going to move this guy back a bit. So at least... What the hell? Like, you saw it, right? He, his... Like, the, the point where he was actually existing wasn't exactly where he was existing. Okay, let's, let's move you down here then. Let's take the archers as well. Let's summon the big thing. Let's summon this thing too. Let's get uh, these two attacking this thing. Yeah, the archer should handle itself well. I think it should, maybe, hopefully. That thing heals itself, doesn't it? And it's being accompanied by a genie. So let's summon one or more of these. I just lost something. Are they attacking? I think they were attacking. Okay, I'm gonna save some mana for bigger stuff. And just kick these guys in the face. Not the... What exactly... Why are you standing exactly there? I don't know. Just attack them. They basically have no AI if you're wondering. Like, your units are just stupid to the bone. I'll just stand there getting hit in the face constantly. Let's summon this thing. It looks big enough. Come on. Capture, capture, capture. You do. You two go there, 
monolith taken. Heal that guy. Okay, we took the monolith. Let's attack them. And this is what you basically do through the entire game. It's... I wouldn't say it's... bad. It's just really not, not all that engaging or interesting. It's... It just is. It's... Eh... That's, again, one of the only ways I can describe the game as an eh... Ruby Roo, that's kind of all I have. Not all that great, not all that engaging, it's... It just exists. Oh, we have a Hydra soon. Costing 7 mana and kicking things to face really, really badly. I think the arrow... Oh, that was the healing thing, but it's badly, badly, badly indicated on the map. That was the healing thing. So let's, so let's kick that in the face then. Let's summon a Hydra and just kill everybody with it. Could probably park the Hydra on their, on their spawn. Just to screw with them. I think I'm gonna do that. Currently they're not generating any sort of new points. They're being kicked in the face constantly by me. So there's no, there's really no way you can lose now. Because they don't have any more, uh, any more uh, control points, they don't have enough mana left to summon the big things, just the little things one by one, and uh, they lose. So it's um, it, it's kind of easy to, to get stuck in a no-win scenario, like if you're not careful. Well, yeah, the things are vulnerable, but won't really do much with invulnerability. It's uh, I'm gonna try the higher difficulty level soon. I can. The next five seconds because the EA is gonna lose right now. Maybe I should replace like it's swing archer range attack dealing targets max. It's actually, it's actually good. Like her damage skills with enemy HP, so it's something. Oh, they did take one. They slipped by me somehow. Those sneaky, sneaky bastards. Not at the merits because they're gonna die in like two seconds. And there goes the life, and there goes, yeah, victorious. Well, okay, let's try the higher difficulty level too. Yay! What what I what I like to say in favor of this game, there is no grinding. You get all the cards up front. You get everything up front. Everything is already unlocked. There is no levels. There is no loot boxes. There is no grinding. You have everything from the get go. Let's try insane AI. Maybe that was an easy uh, AI. So it's got that in its favor compared to every other game that's based on... Oh, Valkyrie AI. This is actually not a standard deck. That is not a standard deck. Because there is no Valkyrie AI. Okay, so... The vision points give you vision overall crystal spawn location. But we deal one time heavy damage to... An okay, so get the crystals to do the damage. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's summon the big guy. Um, uh, see? Okay, this time it actually worked. Last time it didn't. The camera assistance, by the way, is... Like, on this map especially, it's just awful. The camera tries to cling to the trees. So that means it, it'll periodically just slow down and stop, and it's it's horrible. It's not the kind of camera you would want to see in an RTS, because it's, it's ineffective as hell. Okay, you go down there. For example, now the camera isn't working, because... He, the camera isn't going up. Like the camera is somehow still tied to the uh, to the mouse, even though I'm using the you know the arrows to actually turn uh, the camera around. They got a monolith, or oh, we have a monolith actually, not them. We're gonna take this mon. Oh, they're already doing one. We are doing the damage. Come on, do the damage better. Do the damage. Do the damage. Once we got four, we're gonna summon this guy. Come on, do the damage better. Do more damage. Okay. But I think they have... Uh, did they get that one? They're not gonna have it for long, if, even if they did. Let's summon... Uh, not enough for this one. Let me ha actually have enough... If I can just summon the, um, the Hydra... Once I get this one, it should be enough to cream them. But they also took this one, so that's gonna be a problem. Uh, actually no, it's it's fine. Like I, I have enough mana even with the 
which is the ones I have currently. Summon a big fat hydra and I'm gonna get the big fat hydra to um to jump on that. I'm gonna get this one to heal itself here. As soon as it caps it. Did you cap it? You capped it. Okay, go there. Maybe that will help you stay alive a bit. Oh, no, they're, they're trying to attack the Hydra. Not sure what you... Oh, that's a Valkyrie. Not exactly sure what the Valkyrie can do, but uh, probably it cannot do enough against that big thing. Oh, it's still holding its own. It's still alive, so that's something. It's, uh, it's impressive. Unholy strength. Haha, <laughs> you're all dead. Oh, my damn. I just got away from there. You, st you already took it. They've already taken it. I think the A may have a bonus or something regarding... I'm just going to get the Hydra. Uh, Hydra there, you stand back. Oh, now it's got two people. Uh, actually, should... Sh oh, no, wait, I'm rooted. I'm rooted. Rooted? Yeah, and I instantly died. It's a big unit game. Once you get into it, it's a really, really big unit game. So I'm just going to wait around some of the more big units. Or a lot of them, at least. What am I fighting against? I'm fighting against a uh, Valorous Defender. Valorous Defender. And they're doing a lot of damage. Like, that is quite a lot of damage. More than expected. Like, they are holding their own. Of course, I'm damaging all of them, but if there were more than the ones that are there right now, I would have probably done, actually killed them. No, so it's still doing damage to them even at that uh, that range. So it's, I think th that guy went to heal up. Now he's gonna be back with more with full health. I think. Okay, now uh, go steal their stuff. Crystal spawns in 30 seconds, okay. Uh, oh, he's back, he's back. Not really healed. Uh, wow, that... that He deals a lot more damage now for some reason. Or maybe that's cumulative, cumulative damage, or how do you spell it? No, no, my, my hair is gonna die. No. Should have not sent it alone, in retrospect. Should have probably not sent it alone. So let's uh, let's summon this thing. Let's summon another archer and these two. And uh, have these guys. Go uh, go find a crystal. Yeah, they took a monolith, I know. Go find a crystal. And uh, no crystal there. Oh, there is the enemy. I think they may have taken a crystal for me. And look at it die. Kick it in the face. I think that was a spell or something. And I took the... What the hell is still damaging them? Uh, I think they had some special ability. Oh, they, oh, they have the giant surf FEMA thing that I had the last... Well, I still have it in this match, actually. And they have these guys there. The archers. And that guy stopped in the middle of the road. Of course they did because the thing flies and they don't. So of course they stopped. Let's get them to the, the top one then. And just capture that point. So they'll they will come to us. Give them more cry. Or well, more strength actually. And I'm out of units again. That's our day. No wait, they still have one more. So it is harder than the bigger difficulty levels. The A has better units. It uses them better. More effectively. Okay, so as they're pumping out units, at least there's a limit to the number of units you can have. Like, you can spend them indefinitely. You will have a limit to them. Let's get these guys to heal a bit. Get a bit more mana. Uh, maximum health if you're only unit in melee combat. Okay, let's get you back there to defend the point. Seven. I actually need to summon more units, so uh, I'll actually get uh, get the chance to draw other cards. The camera controls are absolute rubbish again. They're they're trash. Absolute trash. Endless trash. Yeah, I'm losing battle in this case. Get it, get it, get it. 
Kick it in the face, kick it in the face. I lost a lot of big units, that's why I'm losing. That that big thing of mine is taking a lot of damage, like super duper damage. Should probably just summon these and this. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even see what I'm attacking there, it's just a big blob of red. I think that was a spell of some kind. No, I'm not positive, but I, but I think the A may be cheating a bit in this mode. Yeah, a bit like. Uh, let's summon our Seraphim. I just have the inkling that the A may be cheating in this mode a bit. I'm not salty or anything, I just have a feeling. A bit of an inkling. Come on. Here the thing, here the thing. Bombard the enemy, bombard the enemy, and they're behind me. Then in front of me, they're everywhere. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Hit them, hit them. Good boy, good boy. Just bump them in the head. It can it can be engaging at times, but it's uh, for the most part a lot of uh, and that's not really what you want from a game to be just uh, it just sort of takes all the fun out of it just being uh. so now let's all of us go there and hopefully in the uh, life expense I have left mountain ogre under attack by whom oh no I'm gonna have to go back go back go back go back heal the mountain ogre. Get these guys to defend that point and the camera controls just just they just just stop working. Like mid use, they mid motion, they stop working. It's annoying as hell. Kill the seraphim. Kill their seraphim, come on. Oh they have two seraphims. Cool. That's that's a lucky card draw to get two of them. Really lucky, and I died. Well, that was for the casters. It's um, eh? It's really eh. If you're getting it for online play, well, there's basically nobody playing it, so odds are you won't be finding anybody to actually play it. But if you're playing against, against the AI, well, um, and uh, you know, it's a loss, bounty earned, bounty lost, spells used, only two. Somehow I doubt that. Somehow I doubt that deeply. Units used, 17. Again, somehow I doubt that deeply. Eh, well, it's uh, it's on Steam. It's... Uh, play Ether Lords. Play... You know what's, what's actually the only good card game that ever existed? Magic the Gathering, the, the Chandler one. Like, that one's actually good. Everything else, honestly, is kind of crap compared to it. All of it. Nothing really compares to it. So, uh, going back tomorrow with the uh, new gaming codex. Uh, you know, we have live streams on D Live if you want to join us there. If the system works at this time, actually, sometimes that does hiccup. And, uh, well, uh, check out our shows. Goodbye.